Hello there, my lovely year six artists. Lovely to uh, get going again. We're going to be working on our Pandora figure drawing today, inspired by the artist Piccio Avo, the two graffiti artists. And they were inspired by Greek mythology, but also Greek art. They were inspired by sculptures, which is why I've got you this sheet here. Let's look at some real Greek sculptures, ancient Greek sculptures carved out of marble. And notice the eyes, no pupils, quite ghostly. If we look back at the Picciovo artwork, you can see very much that they were drawing the Greek statues, not just figures. So that's why I've got you this photocopy with some um, outlines of Greek um, marble statues, um, some heads, but also a full body. So you can see that there, because we've been looking at figure drawing. We're actually going to be doing half figures in our artwork. If you remember the Dante um, painting of Pandora, it was a half um, figure, so we didn't see her feet. So we've got that there as well to help you. I've also got this here to help with the draping of fabric for the clothes. That's useful to see. Then I've got you some Pandoras, uh, three Pandoras. Here's our first one. Thank you very much for posing for us. And then our next Pandora, another good friend of ours. And oh, there I am. I'm being Pandora as well. So you can just choose which of those you want to draw. You're going to be working on A3 cartridge paper and you're going to be using um, whatever drawing materials you like, except no pencil and I suggest you don't use graphite. So out of the other things we've been using, I want you to choose between a fine liner, a drawing pen or a biro. We don't pre-draw anything, we're just using the pens, okay? So the choice is yours of which one to use, but it has to be either biro or a fine liner. We're then going to choose which Pandora to do. I'm not going to select uh, me, I'm going to choose this one. And so we begin our final artwork for this project. You have your nice piece of cartridge drawing paper at the ready and you've got your chosen model. And I always start drawing something like this with the eye. I start with an eye and work my way outwards from that eye. Other people prefer to draw the shape of the head and work from that, but I always start with an eye. And so I'm going to show you that technique uh, now. There we go. I just sort of line up the eyes across the page. So I know where to begin and I'm going to start sketching that in. And remember, we're not drawing the pupil, we're just doing the shape of the eye. And remember, this is just shapes. Don't get intimidated because it's a person's face. Very scary, but it's just shapes. So this is just a squashed lemon shape. And I've just realised I started drawing with my graphite stick, not my biro. Do draw with either a biro or a fine liner, not like tired Miss Martin. OK. I'm on a biro, I'm fine. Once I've got the eye in, I work out from that and all is good. That's just how I prefer to do it. I start with the eye, then the eyebrow, then the nose, then put in the other eye and just work my way outwards. Um, I'm putting on some shading there using my pen, using cross hatching and hatching. Do you remember how hatching is where you draw lines and cross hatching is where you draw lines over the top of each other, sort of in a diagonal? Um, and so underneath the sleeve, for example, is a very dark patch where I did lots of cross hatching. And there you go, just finishing off with a bit there. And that will do, because remember, it's meant to be a sculpture. It's not, it's a statue. It's not meant to be a, a perfect drawing of a, a model. We're creating as if it's a sculpture of Pandora. And so it doesn't need to be quite as detailed. But it's nice to get the shading on uh, and get a sense of that. You can add some later uh, as well. And if you were doing the other Pandora or, or, the, or the one that I modelled, you just start in exactly the same way with the eye and work your way out. That's all good. Just remember when you're using a pen uh, to draw with, you're not colouring in with that pen, you're shading. Um, you're doing cross hatching and hatching to shade that area in. OK, so don't be using heavy lines drawn as if you're colouring in. And I think apart from just a little bit of shading around this hand, that's not far off. Um, remember, it's meant to be a statue, um, so it doesn't need to be um, 
all the textures and things like that. The skin, you just want some light and dark on there. And make sure you've got Pandora's box actually uh, nicely, strongly shown there. So I'm just going to maybe do a bit more shading around that box because obviously that's a key part to the story. And we want uh, Pandora's box to uh, show up. Now, what we're going to be doing after this drawing is we're going to be adding some background, doing our graffiti art. We don't need to worry about that today. That's in the next lesson. We're going to put our graffiti art in the background. But for today, just work on Pandora. <laughs> 